Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Sean. And I'm Ryan. And we're the Natural Gamers, and today what we're going to be talking about is a game that was released, a uh, downloadable game that was released this past week. Tuesday. Last, last Tuesday, almost a week ago. Uh, actually, by the time you watch us, it'll be, well, it'll be a full seven days. Yeah. So we got a little bit, we got to spend at least a decent amount of time with it. Payday the Heist! Yes, it's, uh, you know, it was announced back in the summer, it just came out, it was kind of, it was delayed a couple times, um, but it finally came out and we downloaded it, we got a chance to play it. And we both have somewhat differing opinions about it. <laughs> so, without further ado, Ryan, you go first. What, was, what did you think about that well, game? Well, before I start with anything, I'm just going to tell them uh, how, what, what kind of game it is. Four player, yep. co-op, uh, objective based game. So it's kind of like, you know, Left 4 Dead combined with the movie Heat, kind of kind of gives you yeah. like that. Yeah, totally. That, yeah. Uh, co-op that's, feeling. That's the vibe yeah. that yeah. they were going for, yeah. So I'm going to start off by saying like the gameplay. The gameplay is not, it's not terrible, but it, it it's okay and it's easy to adapt to and you, you can deal with it. And it's a little choppy. The graphics are, aren't terrible, they're pretty good. They're okay. They're yeah. Okay, but uh, um, first off, uh, what do you think about the, the single player? Single player is, um, it's not worth it. Not worth even touching or trying to play because it's not you, and you're not be getting help at all from the AI. It's so the single player is shit. But the multiplayer will make up. You know, you make up your. It's. You know, well, I mean, that's really. I think. I mean, I think that's where they were. That's what. At. That's what they were aiming for. Yeah. That's what it's more or less designed for. Is right. multiplayer. It's kind of just in the same way that Left 4 Dead or Left 4 Dead 2, that series is designed for multiplayer. Yeah. Like, you can play a single player and it's fine, and at least in Left 4 Dead it's fine, Like, it, but it's not as much yeah. fun as playing with other real people. You start the heist. So when you start the heist, like minor side objectives start, and you have to do those objectives, like, you know, erase at, at all any traces that you've been there, mm -hmm. and you know, you go to the money, you steal the money, and then you have to escape. The only thing I have a problem with, with the whole, like, the gameplay, the whole hostage situation, I think they did it half right. Uh, so, you've seen, like, you know, uh, uh, bank rob movies and video games. Or, yeah. Well, this would be the first, I think, that really done this. But when you have a hostage, you're not getting bombarded by police, okay? When you hold hostages, I think that would be kind of the thing that would be your advantage in, like, the, uh, the police wouldn't be storming the castle because it would be way better if, in reality they yeah. wouldn't want you to kill the hostages kill the hostages it would be would have been better if they had implemented that a little bit better just in the in the way that uh because it doesn't really matter all you do is yell and tell them to get on the floor and then you can t you tie and you can and you can zip time and stuff like that but it doesn't go past that it doesn't affect right. anything right. like it would have been better if there was an actual way that you could kind of like uh, corral hostages yeah, like into a side into area, a room or push something. them into a room and tie them up and like have them as, you know, a bargaining right. chip, which they kind of, they kind of did, you know, because if one of your guys gets knocked down in your team and they've been dead past, their, or they're knocked down past 30 seconds, like you have to bargain, you have to, yeah, be, you have to trade the hostages, you have to trade for a hostage, for but release. it doesn't really like, doesn't almost, it's almost something that's almost done like automatically, right. it doesn't like, you didn't have to have a hostage to do right. that, it right. just does it. In order to enjoy this game, you cannot be balls to the wall kind of crazy shooter. You got to kind of take no. it slow, be you know a strategic. You have to work as a team. Right. And yeah. if and if you don't, then you're not going to enjoy the game. So you're going to yeah. lose right away. And you're going to be you're going to get frustrated. and You're going to shut the game off. So I mean, the gameplay, the idea is really innovative and it's cool. It's a cool idea. But yeah. the way they executed it wasn't perfect. And I'm not saying it's a terrible game. It is enjoyable when you have a good team and a good squad who are willing. To work together and get to what you have to do. And yeah. I feel bad, kind of in a way, because maybe some, maybe there was something behind the scenes we don't know about. I think there was. I think that this game ended up getting rushed out. Yeah. There was a few delays, obviously, that they needed to. They there was things about it they they felt like they needed to fix, but they did have kind of a release window. Yeah. They were trying to push it out at. My opinion is, I thought this game was all pretty much complete shit. Like uh, from the controls. To everything we talked about with Ryan, all those problems, uh, like the controls are some of the worst first-person shooter controls I've ever. Like it's so fucking loose and just bad. Man. I mean, like you jump, you feel like you're floating. Like there's the physics are all fucked up. The hit detection is terrible. Enemy a AI, it's like take it or leave it, really. I mean, like the only way those the AI, the enemy AI, has like any like upper hand against you is if you. 
uh, which is a problem because of the hit detection, is when they overwhelm you. It's not that these enemies are particularly smart or they do anything particularly well. Well, like they don't really try to flank you. They don't really try uh, to do anything. They just kind of. They do. But they just kind of flood in, though. Like they and flood it, in from all directions. And if you and if you allow too many of them to get in, then then you're in going to be in some hot right. water. But as if you're if you have like because it's a four-player co-op game. And if you're online, because if you are playing single player, the AI is so fucking bad. Hey, can you can you plant C4 for me, AI? No, I wasn't programmed to be able to do that. That you can't even do anything. You have to do everything yourself. The AI barely even kills anybody. It barely does shit. It doesn't set any of the objectives. It doesn't set up your drills. It doesn't set up C4. Like makes you do everything by yourself. And it's pretty fucking terrible. The single player is just like an afterthought, and uh, and that's fine, and I understand that. But like, then why even have it as an option? The online, if you're fortunate enough to find a game that you can get into, sometimes it took me probably almost 20 minutes to a half hour to actually get into a fucking game. It was just not easy to get into a game sometimes. Well, well I don't want to like judge it so harshly because I no. Well, it's a, it is a downloadable. It's a twenty dollar game. It's a twenty dollar game. I'm not gonna hold it up to. Uh, a standard, like a sixty dollar yeah. triple A title, yeah. like I wouldn't. I'm not doing that. But like, even at twenty dollars, I felt like it, I had wasted my money. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if I had gotten it on sale, if it was on sale out for Steam or the PSN or whatever or Xbox Live, uh, and if it was like ten bucks, I would say you know that's a good distraction that you right. and your buddies, if you had four other people that you knew that you played games with. And another like down thing is. Why, why not have split screen? Because that game could yeah. definitely oh, totally. have some totally. split screen like, capabilities. In yeah, we, we would have loved yeah. to have been played together. See, that that would have made this game more enjoyable. Yeah, totally. you just, It's just, you need human, uh, people. another human player. And not play. only that, but you need people that uh, want to no, play the game. Yeah, and know what they're doing. And not just want to fuck yeah. around. Because there you get into matches and people are just fucking around and not doing anything. And it just gets so frustrating. You're like, fuck it, I, I quit. Yeah. I, I will say, there is an enjoyment factor. It's a new kind of game. It's kind of cool. Cool. It's, it's an innovative concept, and yes. I love the concept, and I wish that they had made like a triple A, like, just uh, uh, fully done, like a fully conceptualized game, and not given us this like kind of a half-ass downloadable game, and that's really what it comes down to. Well, $20 is too much for this game. Like, I was, I was, I'm really pissed. Like, I bought it, and I am, I am pretty pissed that I waste, I feel like I wasted 20 bucks, and it's a game that I'm, I'll try it a couple more times, but I most likely I'm never gonna play this again. Well, I will play it. But but the, it does have replay value. There are more than one maps. There is more than one oh, type yeah. of heist. Yeah, it, it, there's it, about eight maps. It's cool. I mean, it's you just, and you yeah. have a level up. There's a level up yes. system or a notoriety but, system or whatever. But another it is. downside of the the level up thing, there's no guidance. When you level up, what do I do? Like, when you up. even in the single player mission, like there is no instructions. It doesn't fucking tell you how to do anything. Right. And there's no like you know early game. I there might be a training mission or something that I missed, and that's a that's a possible but from what I saw there was nothing there's no on-screen prompts about like how to do anything well the, I mean other than when you walk up the thing hold R2 button and you know you can do that yeah I get that okay. it's not enough like I'd rather have you know written objectives they no. do have objectives on the screen well, but how do you just, run how do you crouch like I understand yeah. that stuff's kind of a given these days but at the same time it's just like well you didn't like ease people into it there's no learning curve it's right. just like you fucking start playing right. Yeah. It's a piece of shit, in it's, my opinion. In my you, you opinion, you thought it was okay. You I thought, thought it was. Okay. I, th I think there's. It's enjoyable. It's a twenty dollar downloadable yeah. game, and it's unfortunate that it feels like it's a twenty dollar downloadable game because I've played other games that are like download only games that are great. I think this was just maybe too ambitious for whatever. Like I think it was a small development team, and not to knock these guys because they, you know, I, I have a yeah. feeling they ran out of time and weren't able to fine tune certain things. That's what it feels like when you're playing it. I think that will, you know, about, you know, round up things. That's, and that's, that's our thoughts. And, and what do you guys think? Uh, like, have you played it? You know, am I, are we, am I totally wrong? You know, who do you side with me or Ryan? Yeah. Um, post in the comments, we'll comment back. You know, I'd love to talk to you guys about it. So, I'm Sean. And I'm Ryan. And we're the Natural Gamers, and we will see you next time. We have something to talk about. Now, now, now.